Hello. What is going on, guys? I am Numb Nexus, bringing you here. Well, somewhat of an anime awards. I was gonna bring out the top ten, uh, or top. I I'd have to fit into a ten list. Top ten anime of the year of 2016. So why not finalize the votes? You guys can actually do the votes as well. But these votes are powered by Crunchyroll. Not really a sponsored video, um, but just a Crunchyroll video because I avidly literally watch Crunchyroll every fucking day. So like, why not do this? So of course I will leave the link in the description down below. You guys can also vote on whom you think you know is all the little roles that they got anime of the year hero of the year villain of the year etc you guys can vote for that down in the description below it'll be uh provided and of course if you're enjoying give the video a thumbs up subscribe and also let me know if you want to see more videos like this uh, so let's get in with it so again like i said it lasts up until january 10th and it starts january 3rd so it literally started off yesterday and i was i literally saw the crunchyroll tweet or the twitter tweet out all of these things and I was like I want to voice my opinions on this so I was thinking I want to make a video about this and then they made it even easier for me to make a video about it by putting it on their site and making it like this so here's anime of the year here's all the recommendations erased joker game was fucking amazing dog that's so slept on watch it if you haven't uh carbonary was goat mob cycle was goat my hero academia goat rezero goat showa genroku rakugo shinju Oh, that shit was pretty decent. It was good, but I wouldn't put it as a year. IML for me. I didn't, I didn't finish it, that's why. I got like two episodes in. Yuri on Ice? I got like five episodes in. Am I like... Am I, am I gay if I like this show? <laughs> I liked it. I did. What What is your choice for anime of the year? Honestly, I'd have to give this one, like right now, my, my, my genuine, honest thoughts. And Kabane was really good, but it had its good flaws. Same thing was Erased, where, like, the killer was so fucking predictable. And they played the whole show off, like, they played the whole show off where it's like, oh, it's so obvious, but we're gonna make you doubt doubt your mind or something like that. And that's, that's not the case. I mean, I liked it. Time travel shows I'm really not nuts about, since most of them weren't really, like, the world's greatest. I know I'm gonna trigger some people saying that, but that's just my thoughts. Mob Psycho was really good. The animation, the main character... Fuck, man. It had more of a story than One Punch Man ever did. My hero. I have kept up with this show for, like, so long. Close to three years in 2017. I've been reading the manga since release of September 2014, something like that. ReZero was really good. I have reviews on the entire channel. You gotta, you guys gotta watch my reviews as you watch the episodes because I was freaking the fuck out. Um, Yuri on Ice became global as shit with how popular it got. I might have to give this to either ReZero... Joker game was really good too. Like I might have to get it to Joker game as well. But mmm, this is a tough one. I'm I'm stuck between Re Zero, My Hero, and My Hero. They didn't give enough, you know. Like they started off and they teased us off with what they gave. But trust me, if you guys read the manga, because I'm way caught up. They left. They didn't put in so much because it's only the first 13 episodes. Everything else that happens where the anime ended, it gets so much better. So I'm sorry, I can't put My Hero on here. I'm gonna go with ReZero. ReZero was freaking amazing. Like, when it came to the music, character development, especially with Subaru, literally the main character, character development, um, the fan base grew popular, like, so huge, and the story was really good. This was a time travel. It would blow your mind. Things would happen, and then it would take a huge 180 degree turn, and you would not expect most of the stuff that happened. So I gotta give it to ReZero. Thanks for voting. Your votes have been recorded. Cool, so we're gonna go back now. And now the next one is Hero of the Year. What options do they got? So Tori, okay, yep, from Erased. Oh my god, that's my wife, bro. That's my wife, bro. You can see these are clearly the most popular animes of this year. Uh, Mob, he, uh, no, hell no. Definitely not Deku. No, 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 he's a hero in training. Keyword in training. Uh, Mume was clutch as shit almost every time! She should win! I mean, Satoru did a lot as well. This nigga saved, like, multiple lives, if anything. He saved lives. But then so did Mume. You have to think about it. Deku, he was clutch, but he couldn't really control his quirk. So, he could damage all the time. So, that's a write-off. Mob, a hero, is such a strong term for Mob. He would get pissed off because people would push him to his boundaries. And then he would just fight not to help anybody, 
but he would just fight because he's mad. That's it. He was pushed to his ability. That's it. I mean, sure, the only thing he did to save his brother and little friends, that's, that's really it. Otherwise, like, no. You have to put, these two should be the ones easy. Like, if you think about it, Satoru saved multiple lives from an old little pedophile dude. Uh, especially from the girl that was getting beaten by her mom. Another girl's life. He saved a lot of lives. Even his mom's. He saved a lot of lives. So, there's that. And then Mume, they had a whole zombie apocalypse. And she would save multiple lives from killing these zombies. Thus preventing all these humans that are barely left dying from the Cabanes. So... This is a tough one between these two. This is a tough one. Three people or thousands of lives? Mume's gotta get it. Thousands of lives between three people? No, it's gotta go to Mume. These are facts. These are facts. It has to go to Mume. That one is subjective. Maybe to Satoru as well, but it's gotta go to Mume. Villain of the year? Tomaru. Shigaraki. They barely showed anything of him. I'm not gonna do that. He was pretty cool, though. Yoshi. Get oh, my God. See, I always feel clueless when it comes to something of JoJo. I haven't gotten into JoJo yet, but all of my friends, like Caleb, Andy, uh, Eric, Ishar, all my friends are huge on JoJo. They're probably the biggest JoJo fans you could ever see. They even make content on the daily about JoJo in the JoJo community. They're huge in there. And they keep telling me to watch it, and I keep saying that I will, and I always forget. So, I, JoJo fans, don't slander me, but you let me know how good of a villain Yoshigake Kira is from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Biba was no 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 he better not get any votes at all he was he was eh if anything this guy played everybody I'm gonna have to give it to him I'm gonna have to give it to Gaku I'm gonna have to give it to Gaku because I don't know anything about him I haven't watched Jojo yet I gotta give it to Gaku maybe other what else came out this year um no I mean if people did other maybe the witch from uh, Ray Zero, but then we, we haven't seen much of her. No, I'm gonna have to give it to Gaku. He seemed like the best one right now. He played everybody, he killed. It, it's not even a spoiler because in literally the first 10 minutes of the fucking episode one of a race, he kills the, uh, Satoru's mother. And the whole plot is he has to go back in time because he gets so triggered by it, 19 years specifically, and then he's gotta find out the killer. But then this killer is also linked to all these other people's death. It's a really good anime, I recommend it. But. No, Biba was... No, I did not think he was a good villain at all, if anything. He, like, played Mume or some shit like that. I think he was her older brother, if I can't... If I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've watched it. And, like, he... No, 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 no. God, no. Gaku, definitely. Um... What else as well? What do they got here? Villain of the Year. Best Boy? Who we got? Oh, my God! I loved Arataka... I love Reagan. Arataka Reagan, I loved him. I am Deku. Look at my door yet. I mean, Deku was pretty cool, too. What do we got? Oh, my God. He was dope. He was dope. I loved him. And then the main character. Isn't this the main character from Yuri? Yeah, from Yuri on Ice. Okay. He, it's either between right now, honestly, I got to give it to Reagan. Reagan was too cool. I mean, Deku had hype moments. Yakumo is cool as shit. And Yuri, I mean, he's pretty dope. He's pretty dope. But I got to give it to my boy, Reagan. I mean, he was a fan favorite. He was one of my favorite characters from that series. He's a fan favorite. I gotta give it a Raiden. A Reagan. Raiden, wow. Uh, what else we got next? This is fun. Crunchyroll should do this every year. I used to do this in calls with my friends every year, and now they actually- Oh, Mume. Oh, no. This is a tough one. This is too good. What? Yo. All right, so they got a lot of good nominees here. Mume is my wife, bro. But Nico was cute as shit. She would always pretend. She was a fake- I forgot the word they used in the series when they were doing the little introduction. She was a fake something, and she would always pretend that she's crazy because she's rich and perfect and smart. She was so cute, but she's into mostly men, and I'm not mostly, so you're going to have to pass. First off, Kiss Never is so good. Oh, Chaka was so fine. She had like, this little cute ass, like, Symmetra slash Mega Man little uniform. She was so cute. And then Rem. You guys know me on this channel. You guys know how I feel about Rem. I got to go. Mume, she's my wife. Mume is my fucking wife. I'm sorry I had to betray you, Rem, but Mume is my goddamn wife. Uh, best fight scene. This ought to be good. This ought to be good. What do they got here? Mume versus Akabane. This was dope in contemption. Shigeo versus Koyama. Ooh, this one was too good. They even give you the option to view the scene. I will get copyrighted out the ass. I did not watch this. 
I did not watch this. I did not watch this. I did not watch the Gundam this season. I did not. So that's something I need to do. Deku vs. Kachan? Oh, Deku vs. Kachan is... Mm. I'm sorry, Deku vs. Kachan. That shit was way too dope. I'm telling you, that shit was too dope. It's gotta go to Deku. Hmm. Okay. What else do we got here? Best animation? Anything Mob Psycho. If I see Mob Psycho... Kabane was really good animation, too. Flip... Oh, my God. Flip Flappers. And then Yuri on Ice. If anything, Yuri on Ice, like... Yeah, Yuri and Ice had good animation, but compared to the other ones, oh no. Flip Flappers is fucking amazing. I don't know why it's so underestimated, but I gotta give it a Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho's animation style. Studio Bones has always brought some heat. Which studio has been good as well, but Studio, Bro Studio Bones is very well known for the animation. I gotta give it a, I gotta give it a Mob Psycho. That animation is just fucking incredible. Um, best, most heartwarming anything re zero. What was it? Oh no, wait. Oh my god, from Flying Witch! Episode 12, I st you know what? Here's the thing, I have this bad habit of not finishing series. Like, what is it? Like, uh, Glass Lip? I watched all 12 episodes, but I didn't watch the 13th episode of Glass Lip when it was ongoing. Same thing with this other show that I can't remember what it was called. I always have this bad, even with, uh... What was it called? I can't remember what it was called. It was a shoulda served with a C. I can't remember what it was called with the dude that had this power and he could go invisible or some shit like that. It always get into people's heads. I can't remember. And this one girl, she had a brother who had like blind, he had cancer. I can't remember, but I only watched 12 episodes out of 13. I have this poor, poor habit. The kiss scene. Yo. Yo, it's, uh, it's not, it's not. <laughs> Orange is extremely heartwarming. But alas, I've only gotten two episodes into Orange. I gotta get my game up. This was so good. This was so sad. But this was so sad. Look, this is so sad. I didn't catch up to this. So far, the only one that I caught up to is Erase. I feel really bad because I've watched all these series. I'm only in episode five of Yuri and Ice. Uh, I'm actually currently watching Yuri and Ice right now. I knew that the scene would happen, but I haven't watched it myself. No homo. <laughs> uh, Orange has been on my two watch list, but I was out of town like half the summer, so I didn't get the chance to watch it, but I mean, I'm sure it was heartwarming. Orange itself was a very heartwarming show. I could watch from the first two episodes when I watched. It was a very heartwarming show. Very emotional show. I feel like a lot of people are going to cook me if I don't choose Orange. Guys, I'm sorry. I haven't I haven't watched like two episodes of you. No, I haven't watched 11 episodes of this. Ah. Flies over her new... No. No, it's between right now orange and uh, what is it? Erase. This is a tough one. I haven't watched this, so I, but I feel like I'd have to put it in to please everybody. But for myself, I'm gonna have to say the erased one because when she had that, it was so hard when because her home cooking meals are always dog shit since she's always abused. Um, drama of the year. Rezero should be on this. Erased. Um, Joker game, Kiz. Oh, Kiz Niver. Nope, nope, nope. Kiz Niver's drama was insane. But Showa Geroku, Genroku also had incredible drama. Oh my god, everybody watched this show. It's so good. Kiz Niver's drama was so insane. They're bonded together with their feelings, and then eventually, or they're bonded together by pain, right? But eventually, they hit the next step that no, uh, nobody else with the Kiz Niver project, or the Kiz Niver project, so they call it, nobody else has ever hit that step. And they're the group that stand out, stood out the most. And, like, their their chests actually physically hurt. They fall in love with one another. It's crazy. And most of is a bunch of yelling, screaming, broken bonds. It's so good. It's one of my favorite series this entire year. Definitely Kids and Ivory. No question. Uh, what is this? Best couple? Satoru and Kaya. No, they're kids, nigga. What? Um, Katsuhiro. No, these are really good. Mmm. I'm gonna have to give it a Katsuhiro and Sonazaki. I mean, I know most of the fans are gonna, most people are gonna be choosing Yuri and Victor. I know that because they went so viral that everybody was watching Yuri and Ice, these two. These were okay, but the couple I really liked is Katsuhiri and Sonazaki. Sonazaki, I love the bond that they had. They're both very bland and boring, and then like more along towards like the last episode of Kidnizer. Uh, what is it? Sonazaki says something like, oh, I guess I'm just gonna have to give him that good put. 
she didn't like say that word for word but she like she like meant that you know she basically meant that they're gonna have sex or something like that after a huge brutal fight so i gotta give it a cut to here in sunazaki i love katsuhiro's design he looks dope what else do we got next if you guys can tell i'm pretty passionate about anime like all i do is watch anime but some of the animes in here i i started but i have this habit where i start and don't finish so that's my goal of 2017 is to start and finish through Best comedy, haven't you heard? I'm Sakamoto. Oh, this is this is good. Keijo, a comedy, really? I mean, I don't think it's projected like genre was supposed to be comedy. I think it was just supposed to pertain to the horny fan base and see how much they can milk fan service within a series. And the series did broken good. So, yeah. Konosuba, I loved Konosuba. My wife, Megumin, is in there. But Sakamoto, I got, it's like the sarcastic and dry humor in Sakamoto is what really made that series for me. Keijo, I wouldn't really call it a humor. They were just horny as fuck. But the, it was like funny because it's like, I can't believe they did this. Or I can't believe they're using their ass to fight each other or their tits to fight each other. I can't believe they're doing that funny, you know? Like the shocked funny. Konosuba was funny. I liked it. I really want, it's, I'm stuck between Konosuba and Sakamoto. Like, I'm actually contemplating rewatching Sakamoto because I actually got a good laugh out of that. Um, Studio Dean's well known for that shit. I, Trigger? Good studio. I have not watched this at all. I have not. I might watch it because Trigger's a good studio. I'm going to have to give it a Sakamoto. Sakamoto was hysterical to me. Like, I love that type of humor. It was hysterical to me. Um, best comedy, best action. Okay, Drifters is godlike. It was basically Helsing. Kabineer was really good. Mob Psycho was good. My Hero was good. Best action? Look, I'm going to give it to Drifters right now. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think of reasons right now why I shouldn't give it to Drifters. Kabineer was really action-filled. This is the Attack on Titan clone. This is basically the Hellsing clone. The One Punch Man clone. And this is basically the... Like... Like... The Naruto One Piece Bleach clone. So, like... They don't... Not really... Ah, not really a clone. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a clone. But it was the next big anime so i would say and it did really good the manga i 1000 billion percent recommend reading i've always been on the wave of my hero i remember when it first came out and everybody was like hype beasting it and watching it i was like i've kind of already been watching this but this is tough because drifter's animation was fucking godlike and just the action in this godlike like the blood the gore i gotta give it a drifters i loved it so much um best opening Cabinary. I was okay. Mob Psycho was good. It's like, if everyone, maybe you can see what you want to be. Yeah, I gotta give it a Mob Psycho. That shit was lit, dog. Cabinary's was pretty fucking lit, too. It was okay, if anything. It was okay. I gotta give it a Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho was too lit. The other ones were okay, too. They were okay. Nothing really stood out for me. And then best ending. ReZero's ending better be on here. Come on, dog. What? I'm putting a uh, no, no, no. Other. Do I have to put the song? I'm going to do other. ReZero had the best and no, 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 no. Erased. Yep. I got to give it erased. Never mind. Erased ending was lit. It was like. I'm actually going to listen to that, op that ending right after this. Erased had such a godlike ending. Is that it? Yep, that's it. That's actually it. I wish we could see, like, the poll. And, like, permission is required to view the results. Oh, when it's done. So, guys, now that I have done mine, you guys can take your own. If you disagreed with them, please don't give any hate. It's all opinions at the end of the day. We're just huge anime watchers. Like, you guys can tell from how passionate I get of this that I love anime a lot. It sounds weird if anybody who's watching this who hates anime. But... January 10th, we will get to see the polls and such like that. So by all means, if you guys are enjoying, slap a like, subscribe if you already haven't. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what I put in the comments down below. Some might blame me, some might support, some might kind of be in the middle. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. With that, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I love that top 10 best anime of 2016 out probably this weekend. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye.